Hey guys, welcome again. In this video, we will create a new uh, a new item and add uh, it to the room. So let's go to inventory view, store rooms to see our store rooms. Okay. So for testing, let's create a new one. We will call it uh, test inventory. And test store test store room. Okay, you can choose your Gmail uh, account. You can determine it okay but for now we will call it just test to room okay let's go to inventory again item master okay create new item Say wire wire okay symbol let's save it we will add it to store room from this option add item to store room we will select store room we will choose test store store created ok ok important to know we will choose here average cost line cost for example will be 100 default bin if we have default bin CAB current balance say we have 10 from this wire ok issue unit will be uh, each example we issue by each and order by each ok Okay. So now this wire exists in test store and current events now ten. Okay. If you go to view item availability, we will see the availability of the item. Okay. If we go to inventory, select store room. We will select test store. Okay. Okay, this is the only items exist in this store. Okay. It's um bin E B current one ten physical count. Then let's try to change this physical count. Okay, inventory uh, adjustment. Physical count.
again current balance say 15 okay now current balance is 15 if we need to adjust the current okay Okay, so uh, view item availability, now it's 15, okay now it's 15, and this item is spare parts, we will see the, uh, the asset, okay here. Okay, the asset that is connected that it's connected with. Okay, so we need also to. Change physical count. It will be like standard count fifteen. Okay, to match the current balance. Okay. Now we can use this item in our uh, in our uh, uh, work orders and we can issue it to work orders and so on okay next we will use this item to reserve it on work order and create bo for it okay uh, that's it for this video Thank you, Mars.